So that's a question I get very, very often. How do you create a great culture at work? How do you create a culture where everybody feels included and they feel heard and seen and valued and respected? And let's face it, it's a very hard thing to achieve because uh, we live in remote world and we're in a remote work, we live in hybrid work and people have not necessarily been trained, they haven't been trained on how to create that, how to achieve that sense of belonging and inclusion, especially in hybrid work. But the good news is there are definitely some things that you can do to create a team and a culture where everybody feels welcome and included. So in particular, there are four things that you can do, four strategies you can do to create a more included, a more um, psychologically safe team. And I talk about creating a transparent culture. So the first thing is to be transparent yourself. If you lead by example and you're very transparent with your team, whether you're a peer or whether you're a manager, just um, people will follow you because if you emulate that behavior of being transparent and, and honest and open, you will be surprised to see how many people start following you and, and just um, copying your behavior in a positive way. So it's a very simple but very practical strategy that you should use really creating a culture of transparency in your team. Now, the second thing you can do is to set expectations for openness. Now, what does that mean? That means that you need to set expectations that it's great to share the good news and the bad news. Now, especially in these times of rapid changes where there's lots of uncertainty around what's going to happen next and whether we're going to continue in re remote work or hybrid work, you need to share the good news with your team and also share the bad news because sometimes people feel a little bit nervous, they're not sure what's happening, they're not sure what's going to happen next. And so if you're very open and you share the bad news when there is bad news happening in your organization but also the good news, then you're going to create a sense of trust and a, a culture of radical transparency where people feel like they are safe, they know what's happening. The third thing you can do to create a great culture is to hire a workplace expert. Because let's face it, it is hard to create a great culture, especially now in hybrid work, in remote work. It's very, very hard to create a culture where everybody feels included and safe and like they belong. But if you hire an expert on workplace or inclusion or anything to do with workplace performance and team culture, you're going to have someone whose actually job is to create a great team. So you're going to have some strategies and tools and techniques that you can use in best practices and even a framework that you can use and you can follow because again, let's face it, it's hard. A lot of managers are great um, in their specific area of expertise, but they haven't necessarily been trained on how to create a great culture and especially how to manage teams in a distributed environment. So make sure you hire the best possible experts to support you. The last thing you can do to create a great culture in your team is to cultivate connection between people. One of the most challenges, one of the biggest challenge that people and employees report is they feel lonely, a sense of loneliness. So if you create connection between your people, you're going to create a culture where people feel like they belong. So for example, Try to talk about topics that are not work related, you know, people's hobbies, people's pets, um, people's next uh, favorite holiday spots and vacation spots. If you do that, people are going to open up and share personal stories and they're going to feel like they know each other a bit better. So by cultivating connections between people intentionally, you're going to create a more inclusive team. So those are four strategies that you can use to create a more inclusive team, a greater culture in your workplace. But if you need more help to create a great culture in your own team, feel free to re reach out to me. Um, the link is in my bio.